Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie. For those who are new here and for those who are not, welcome back. Today I have a very exciting video for you guys. I just received my first PR package from Sigma Beauty. I do want to let you guys know that I'm officially a part of their influencer program. They did reach out to me and of course I said yes. So in celebration of that, I decided to create a look using everything that they had sent me. I came up with this look right here. But before we get started, I do want to let you guys know that I will have my coupon code down below below as well as my link and everything um, and I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that has been subscribing to me lately and liking my videos and commenting and all that I do appreciate every single one of you guys I do want to say thank you so much to Sigma as well and yeah before we get started please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe before you guys leave as well as don't forget to follow me on all my social media I will leave everything on the screen as usual and yeah if you guys want to see how I got this look just keep on watching okay so I'm gonna go in with my warms neutral volume 2 eyeshadow palette and go in with the shade called rogue and i'm taking that on my sigma medium sweeper brush which is the e54 brush and i'm just gonna pack on that color um and i'm just kind of getting the shape of how i want it and then i'm gonna go ahead and blend it out later on i also did not set my base for my eyeshadow Okay, now I'm taking my Sigma E40, ugh, E45 Small Tapered Blending Brush and grabbing the color Passion Fruit and I'm just going to blend out the edges of that, slowly packing on the color. And I do kind of go back and forth with that um, Medium Sweeper Brush, the E54, and that same Rogue color just to kind of blend everything together, just to kind of pack on a little bit more color as well. And this is where I'm grabbing that medium sweeper brush, the E54, and a little bit of the Rogue color just to kind of blend everything together, pack on a little bit more color because I want it to be really, really vibrant because we're going to go in with darker colors after that as well. And because I did not set my concealer before, I'm gonna go ahead and use the color Humble and apply that right underneath my brow bone. It's also gonna give me a little bit of a highlight as well. Okay, so now to start doing the halo eye, I'm taking my E06 wing liner brush from Sigma and I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of my concealer. Um, Honestly, this line, this brush isn't meant to be for a concealer brush, but I decided to use it just because it's so little. It's so like teeny tiny. I really, really like it. Um, I definitely recommend it if you're gonna be, if you're having trouble to do like halo eyes and cut creases. This is such a tiny little brush that it allows you so much space to work with um, as opposed to something that's so much bigger. I definitely recommend it. So I'm just gonna start to map out the basic shape of it. And I decided to leave the whole process here just because it's a lot harder for me to explain what I'm doing. So yeah. I wanted this halo eye to be kind of thinner in the center, so I'm keeping it pretty close to the center of my eye. I'm just bringing down the concealer a little bit down. Just, I can't talk today. I can't talk ever, honestly. So I'm just keeping it pretty thin in the center. I'm not bringing it too out to the corners of my eyes. And I'm just taking that same medium sweeper brush. I just cleaned it off. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend the outside parts of that. Okay, so now to set that concealer, I'm gonna go with the color Charmer. Again, I wanna keep it pretty thin in the center, but I am gonna set that concealer, like the top of the halo eye with the color Charmer, and then I'm just bringing it thinner and thinner as I go down towards my lid, if that makes any sense. I don't know <laughs> if I'm explaining that correctly. Okay, so now to blend out the outside. I'm gonna go in with the color, what is this, Rogue. And I'm using that same E45 Small Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm just gonna apply that on the outer sides just to kind of blend everything together. Okay. 
Okay, so the palette that they sent me didn't have a black color. Um, so I went ahead and went ooh, and went into my Sigma and Beauty Bird collaboration palette, which is the Dream palette, and I went in with the black that they have in there, which is called Fearless. And I'm gonna use that color on my that same wing liner brush. I just cleaned it off, um, which is the E06 li winged liner brush. Oh my gosh. And I'm gonna first start to apply that black color at the very, very top of my halo and kind of feathering it out. And then going in to my medium sweeper brush, which is that E54 brush and applying that same black color just on the outsides and slowly start to kind of blend everything together. And I do kind of go back and forth with my E45 small tapered blending brush and that same rogue color just to kind of blend everything together just because once I put the black on top of that it kind of that rogue color kind of disappears so I went ahead and reapplied it later on and I think I showed it on here I'm pretty sure I did but if not well now you know Okay, so I kind of wanted the top of the halo eye to be a little bit lighter and a little bit more of like a sharper line, just because when you're blending the black liner there, it kind of gets a little bit messy up there. So I went in again with that same wing liner brush. I'm, I'm telling you, this brush is amazing because I've been using it for everything in this video. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, you need to get this brush. Anyways, I went in a little, with a little bit more concealer and I just went in and cleaned up any of those little lines. And then after that, I did go in with a little bit more of that Charmer color just to kind of blend everything together, just so it's not like a really, really sharp line up there, just to kind of blend everything together. I didn't show me applying my lashes on camera. I don't know why I couldn't find the clip of it, but I applied my Atara lashes and I double, I stacked them up with my, the ones that I get from eBay as well. So I just applied those two together and applied them on my eye. Okay, so for primer, I'm using my Maybelline Master Prime Hydrating Primer, the same one that I always use. I'm just applying that all over my face and yeah. Okay, so I never apply my foundation with a brush, but they did send me over the Sigma F80 Air Flat Kabuki brush. So I decided to use it. And honestly, I really like how this applied my foundation. It gave me so much more coverage and it was a lot easier to go around my brows, which is like a little difficult place for me. I have to go in with a separate brush usually. And with this, it was super easy. I didn't have to switch any brushes. And like I said, it gave me more coverage as well. So I really, really liked it. Um, now I'm going with my concealer. This is a Tarte Shape Tape in Light Sand and I'm just gonna blend that out with my Beauty Blender. And I'm just setting all those places where I put the concealer with some translucent powder um, underneath my eyes, on my forehead, down my nose, on my chin, everywhere. Then I'm setting the rest of my face using the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. Um, I think it's in the shade too. I wanna say, if not, I'll have everything down below. Okay, so now I'm gonna bronze up my face using my Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. And then I'm gonna contour just a little bit more using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna go in with their Aura, Aura Powder in the shade Corderosa. It's a really pretty coral color. It's super, super nice. It's not too pink, which I like. <laughs> Okay, so to finish off the eyes, I'm going in with the color Rogue and using that same medium sweeper E54 brush from Sigma and applying that all underneath my eyes. And I did wanna line my eyes and they did send me over their gel liner in Wicked and I applied that on the waterline. I don't know if it's meant for that, but it worked really well. It stayed on really nicely. Um, so I just applied that under there. I did kind of smoke it out a little bit, but I do go into the Dream Palette as well and use that black shade to kind of smoke it out even more. And then I do apply a little bit more of that rogue color just to kind of blend everything together as well.
they did send me over a eyeshadow primer. They sent me the one, the shade Sorbet, and I just used that for the inner corner just as a base for my next shadow that I'm gonna put in the inner corner. And then the shadows that I put on top of that are Beaming. I did mix a little bit of Charmer, but it was mostly just Beaming because I wanted that pink undertone to kind of pop, and that has more of a pinky undertone, um, and it's super shiny too. So I just applied that into the inner corner, and then I did um, apply mascara. I used their, what is it, Sinuosity? Sinu I don't know how to say that. Sinuosity Lash? I don't know, but I applied that on the top lashes and my bottom lashes. I don't know how to say it, but I will have it down below, I promise. And for highlight, I went into the Dream Palette and I applied Sigma, Sigma, what the heck? I mixed Libra and Gemini together and applied it on my cheekbones, down my nose, on my Cupid's bow, and on my chin. I did want to give you guys two lip options. So this one is from Sigma as well and it's from the, it's the Power Crayon in Signed Sealed and it's more of like a pinky tone. So I kind of wanted to give you more of like a pinky undertone one and then I did want to give you guys more of like a brown tone. So what I did was just line my lips in a regular brown lip liner and then applied a lip gloss on top of that. So it's more of the nude. So I wanted to give you guys two options and then I did spray my face with the Mario Badesco facial spray and then that's it. final result i hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe before you guys leave as well as don't forget to follow me on all my social media i will leave everything on the screen as usual and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye Su bikini de rata